Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and in this video, I would like to talk about the class function. So, before talking about class function and its application, let's see a business scenario where a class function will fit in so that you can better understand about uh, what it is and how to use it in ClickView. So, if we see this raw data, here we have some order related data where you know we have these employees who have sold uh, these orders and here is the order value it's a 52 dollar or 127 dollar value to these customers and after this uh, gathering this data we got a business requirement to aggregate this data by the order value buckets so bucket is like these buckets 0 to 1000 2000 to 3000 which we need to drive from this column, which is actually a measure column, but we need to create uh, a dimension out of it like this. So we will get to know how many orders are falling in 0 to 1000 bucket, how many orders are in 0 to uh, 2000 to 3000 bucket, and so on and so forth. Now this will help us basically to know uh, which is our healthy bucket, and then strategize or take necessary actions on those buckets you know where you are receiving a less orders or less order count is there for example like this 3000 to 4000 only two orders 4000 to 5000 just one order so you can see and strategize um, what what really you need to do to uh, create these uh, a healthy pipeline so so before any further talking let's let's create uh, uh, this metric from the scratch uh, as this is just for the representation perspective so that you can better understand what we really need to create so for now let me remove this by right clicking over it and click on remove okay and we will right click on the blank space go to new sheet object and click on the chart and we will click on this straight table chart next now we will not select any of the standard dimension because we really need to create a bucket out of this total order value uh, column so for that we will use this advanced feature at calculated dimension click on this and we will start writing the class function to create that dimension bucket so we will write class and the brackets we will write the uh, column name out of which we want to create a bucket which will be the order total and the the width by which uh, we want to have that range so width will be the thousand so zero to thousand thousand to two thousand things like that we'll click ok let's let's give this name as a uh, order range the column name will be coming as an order range if you have specifying over here click next and uh, now we will do a count of do a count of probably order id to get the to order counts within those categories we'll click ok and uh, we will click finish for now and if i expand this column this will come up properly so as you can see we have created the ranges but it is not specific formatted correctly so for example this less than equal to x and then less than it is coming as a uh, you know mediator between 0 to 1000 and then the respective count so first thing i wanted to explain about the class function how you will create a range so this is how you know you will achieve these ranges so if you want to achieve it by thousand width you can specify thousand over there or you know whatever uh, range you have you know you can specify so two things we really need to do over here to make it a proper uh, uh, formatted table is to remove these uh, x and uh, these signs and remove this null value so for this we will right click on the chart go to properties and what we will do is we will click on edit and we will add the replace function replace and the brackets 
So replace what we want to replace. We want to replace smaller than equal to x and then smaller than. And then we want to replace it by in single quotation we will write the hyphen or the dash and the brackets. So this will remove the uh, this uh, sign from the ranges and it will give us this dash or the hyphen uh, there in the class range. So we'll click OK now. So we have done the one thing when we'll click apply and OK this will remove because we have made the provision. The next thing is removing this uh, null value. So for that we will click here suppress when value is null. All right, we are almost done. We'll click apply and OK. All right. So now you can see that uh, your ranges are properly formatted 0 to 1000, 2000 to 3000 and then 1000 to 2000 and the respective count. But again, there is one more problem. And the problem is that the range is not sorted properly. So it is coming 0 to 1000, 2000 to 3000 or 1000 to 2000. And it is because, you know, uh, this is the custom function that we have produced and if we try to apply the sort, it will not work because we are basically creating a text uh, by you know implementing this function so if we we'll click on sort and try to sort it by either a numeric value then it will not sort or you we'll click on text then also uh, it sorts but again you know sorting is not correct 0 to 1000 1000 to 2000 but then after 13,000 to 14,000, which is not right, okay? So for this, let's, let's hit on the numeric value because we want to sort it by a numeric value, 0 to 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the other values. But for this sorting, we need to use the special function called dual. So dual is a special function which we need to use it here in the dimension to create the text value and the number value so for for now let's let's write the dual function and then I will tell you what it is doing the dual and the bracket so as you can see here in this syntax dual first it is accepting the text this is the text we, we are showing at the front end and here is the number right so basically it is telling in this value which you are showing what should be the text which needs to be shown in the front end and then for the sorting we will be using the number which I am writing over here after this comma so for that what we really need to write is this class function this control C and control V this will give us the numeric value which will help us to do the sorting properly and the brackets all right just paste it again okay so this is the dual closing bracket for now we'll click ok and let's click on apply all right so now you can see the values are coming as a num uh, uh, as a properly formatted value 0 to 1000, 1000 to 2000, 2000 to 3000, right? So this is what I wanted to tell you about the class function, how the values, uh, how you can create a range of buckets and then how you can sort it to, uh, you know, achieve a properly formatted and sorted table to show it in your dashboard. I hope you will find this video useful and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.